Looking for scaffolding in and around London? All London Scaffolding is your go-to choice. Reliable, reasonable and polite. Click the link below or visit the website to claim your discount. Oi, oi, oi! We've got the proper guys now. We've got the professionals. So give it a rest. Stay there. Hi, welcome to AMTV. I've got Robbie with me. We've just beaten Wolves 2 0 here at Molyneux. Now, you were saying it. Is this the perfect way to bounce back? 100%. Yeah. 2 0, away from home, clean sheet. I think that's six games. I think I heard Julian saying it earlier, and it's true. Six games on the bounce, mm -hmm. away from home, clean sheet. Mm. That's unbelievable. The fans, that were, that uh, fans have been saying we played bad today, though, Robbie. I can't believe fans are saying that. Where did we play bad? Honestly, I'm 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 quite, taken I'm quite that, surprised yeah. by that. That there's some fans saying we play bad. Listen, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I thought that was a controlled performance. Apart from the shot that Raya had to save, yeah, it's true. what else did he have to do? It, we're filled with anxiety in every one of these games because there's so much on it. Mm. We know that if the game's a draw, it's like a loss. A draw today is almost like the title's yeah, over, not, yeah. and that is the pressure that we're under. But we 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 got the goal. Um, before the start of the first half, which we fully deserved because mm. we were by far the better team. And then we fully deserved to get a second goal in the second half. I thought we controlled the game in the second half. And tell me, you know what I mean? Tell me what shots or what pressure they had us under in the second half. We totally dominated the game. It's just because we're watching the game full of fear. So it's us, it's, we, it's us as fans, it's not no, the players. No, it's us as fans. Yeah. We're, we're frightened yeah, it? because I hear, I hear. we know that, you know what I mean, at 1 0, if they score a goal, it's almost mm. like the league's over. Mm. That is where we're at. That is the pressure that is on the team at the moment. That is the pressure that's on the fans at the moment. So we'll be looking at it and be saying, wow, did we really play well? But if you actually look at the game, we control the game. We was, I mean, they literally had everybody behind the ball. Yeah, you know I mean, so it was really hard. We were trying to get shots off. They'd have bodies behind the ball. They'd have things. But we played very well today. That is a, that is a very, very good away performance. Wolves have beaten Tottenham here. Wolves have beaten, I think they beat Chelsea here, they beat Man City here. You know what I mean? People forget those things. They had a lot of players, know, a lot of players out. I know but... they've had a couple of players out, but you know what I mean? You know, I was watching that Newcastle game last week. Yeah, At the start players. of the game against Tottenham, I'm like, oh, look how many players they've got out. They even got a defence. They still beat them. Yeah. So you've got to beat what's in front of you. And we've come here today. We've done a very professional job. And that was, a, that was an excellent way to bounce back after a disappointing week, you know what I mean? The, the, the game that disappointed me the most, the game that disappointed me the most was the Villa game, yeah. you know, because we were really expecting to win that. The Bayern game, we, you know, after the first leg, we were all a bit worried about that game. But today, that was a very, you know. But do you, yeah, you, it, was, it was a good performance. But do you understand the fans' PTSD from one from of last course, season of course. to the two games we lost in the, in the, in the last two games? 100% because there's a lot of people looking at last season, we fell away, we crumbled a bit. I think today, when you look at that performance, we're learning. Yeah. We're learning from last season. We've come here. The first thing I was looking for is like, what's the energy going to be like? It started fast. The energy was good. We started the game fast. We were pressing. You know what I mean? I thought Jesus was, was leading the line, pressing. Mm. You know what I mean? Havertz, Odegaard, they all, the energy was good. So yeah. straight away, I was thinking, all right, I like what I'm seeing here. You know what I mean? Because I was a little bit worried. That are we going to be a bit off? I was watching the game um, before our game with uh, City yeah. playing against Chelsea. And if I'm being honest, Chelsea should have been about 3 0 up in that game if Jackson had missed so many chances. And City didn't look on it. Yeah, let's hope he starts against us. <laughs> yeah, it looked like they were stressed out from the other night. But you didn't see that with us. You know, I mean, we had a lot of energy. We were pressing, we were working hard. And you could see that you saw a team there that looked determined to win tonight. And we fully, fully deserve to win. And that is another very good away performance. Clean sheet, couple of goals. We could, could probably have scored more. And uh, yeah, we just got to keep winning games, man. But a, a, a very good a pro good performance away from home. And we're back on track. Was there some shaky performances, though, from you? Because I feel like, yes, there were fans are, were nervous. But there was some in that 11. It's just good. It's a shows of a sign of a good team that we're winning games, mm. even with some players not playing to their level. Was there some shaky performances? Kivio, you? Uh, I think Kivio in the first half, he had a couple of shaky yeah. moments. But to be fair to him, he recovered well. And yeah. I thought in the second half, he played really, really well. So Stayed on as well, But on, on the whole, I thought it was a very good performance right around the pitch. I thought Declan Rice Shit. today was very good. I thought Jesus was good. Havertz was good. 
you know, um, yeah, after, I just thought all around it was a good performance by Arsenal away from home and a fully deserved win and we're back on track. And I know every Tottenham fan, every Chelsea fan, all of them were all lining up, rubbing their hands, <laughs> thinking, yeah, Arsenal going to crumble. They're all waiting for us, isn't it? Yeah, so bro, it's like everyone's mean, waiting. They don't care about City maybe going on and doing You know the sweetest always... thing about it? Tottenham ain't even played and they've had a bad weekend. Right? Because we've won. Yeah? yeah? They've had they a bad weekend. Us, yeah. They ain't even played and they've had a bad weekend. Right? <laughs> because their whole life depends upon Arsenal losing games. <laughs> as we saw the other day with Expressions and Abbey. Yeah, you know what I mean? Their whole life depends on us losing. It's crazy, isn't it? Now that we've won, they ain't even played this weekend. They've had an awful weekend. They'll be walking around tomorrow in North London kicking cans down the road, <laughs> right? We're good, yeah. right? Now we're on to the next game on Tuesday night against Chelsea. How important is that? You talk about very, believe very all the time. Very, very important game. Listen, we beat them last year at home. It's going to be a tough game. You know what I mean? Um, Chelsea have stepped up against the bigger teams, but they lost today. It's, what's that going to take out of them? Another defeat at Wembley for, for Chelsea. Is that going to take a bit out of them? Is that going to help us? But we know now what we've got to do. We've got to beat Chelsea at home. And then it sets it up nicely if we beat them for that big one next week against Tottenham. And, I, I, and I'm telling you, I think if we could win the next two games, <laughs> you can start really believing because, you know, I'm not 100% sure that City are going to go from now till the end of the season no. without dropping points. And I'm not saying, I don't necessarily feel that City will lose a game, but the way they're sort of playing at the moment, you could see them maybe drawing a game. And if they draw a game and we win, but do, you see us win, do you see us winning all our games? Let's I don't know. I don't know. All we got to do is keep trying to do, oh, I'm sorry, keep trying to do what we did today. Mm. But we just got to put the, pre the pressures on Liverpool tomorrow. Yeah. We're forgetting Liverpool are in this as well. That's true. That's true. They've got to go away to Fulham. And that's, that's a tough game. Not an easy game. If mm. they go and they get the victory, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, they've responded. If they don't, they're in trouble. You know what I mean? This is, this is, this is the business. Winning, end, yeah? winning a Premier League is not easy. Facts. That is why... Very few teams do it. Yeah. That's why Tottenham's never won a league. I know I'm rubbing it in on him. It's his 61. Yeah? <laughs> it's tough. It's hard. You can't... People will look on it and say, oh, he's got the easier running. And he's got the easier running. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Liverpool got the easiest running. They lose to Palace. Yeah. It's not easy, man, because stress, anxiety comes on. You know what I mean? Pressure, pressure. Things that teams you would have dispatched of earlier on in the season quite easily, yeah. all of a sudden it's more difficult. Those teams know as well, that, you know what, we're playing Arsenal today, what we're going to do is put everyone behind the ball because mm. they're going to be super stressed if it's like, gets a half time and they're not a goal up and then we can maybe catch them on the counter attack. Yeah. It's such a stressful time. Do you, do you know, it's stressful for fans, it's stressful for players. It's, just for everyone. it's tough, man. Everybody. Like, <laughs> winning a league is tough yeah. and that is why it's so hard to do. And if we're going to win this league, we're going to have to do it the hard way. We're going to have to, you know what I mean? Because we've got the teams that are chasing us are unreal teams. Mm. Man City and Liverpool, they are excellent sides. So if we're going to win this, yeah. it ain't going to be easy. Anybody who thinks we're going to rock up at places like this and win 5 0, 6 -nil, it ain't going to happen. Well, that was that. Forget it. That seemed like the sentiment from a lot of the fans I spoke to today. The thing that's baffling well, me. Really the, well, I'm, I'm telling them, it's not, maybe we're a bit, you know, me, Lee, J Julia, we're a little older. Right, and we remember the days when we won leagues, and we can tell you from one that nil. even those days when we had an unreal side, mm. it was tough. Yeah. You don't just rock up at places and win games like that. You know what I mean? And, and as I said, these teams know mm. they know what you're going for, and yeah. they know they're like, you know what, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it tough. We're gonna and, frustrate the life out of them. That's I, that's what they aim to do. That's what's baffling me: the fact that you know, I know it's not the league, but City versus Chelsea today. I, I bet City fans aren't coming out saying, "Oh, we play back." They won. Like, I bet they're not, but fans are spoken, they're like, but we played bad. But Chelsea we, we... played brilliantly today, but <laughs> yeah. they're out. Yeah. <laughs> City are in the final. Yeah. But people, yeah, I mean, I wish we'd have played rubbish the other night when we was over there in Germany. <laughs> I wish we'd have played rubbish and won. <laughs> you know? Fair, fair. Bro, it's all about, this is the business end of the season. Mm. Business end says win games, that's it. Yeah. It's not about performances no more. But I thought the performance today was good. That's it. That's the Impact, baffling, yeah, that's the baffling thing for me. I think overall, when you look at that performance today, it was a good performance by us. We control the game. Mm. When you go away from home, it's about controlling. If you can control a game away from home, you're doing well. Because it's difficult to do. When you come on a team's patch, yeah. you know, Wolves are a good side. A clean sheet, two goals. You can't, you shouldn't, can't really complain, really. I've got no complaints about today. 
It's a, you know, 2 0 clean sheet, three points on the board. Now the pressure is on Liverpool and the pressure is on City. How do they respond? Yeah. If they respond, fair enough. Then we got our game on Tuesday against Chelsea. Let's go and win that. Then them lot down the roads, <laughs> right, on Sunday, win that game. It's on. I'm telling you, we win the next two games. I. <laughs> what, 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 what? If we win the next two games, it's on. It's on. We had a massive setback last week. You know, no denying that. But yeah. if we win the next couple of games, and we've responded perfectly tonight, perfectly. And the league is not over yet. 100% is not over yet. There's still a lot of games to play.